Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the four poster bed. Now today I've sold my my little kissing couch so people are coming. Actually it was somebody I know she did my neck tattoo. Um, it was I put it up on marketplace for two seconds and she said oh, she'd like it. So they want it for the tattoo studio so that's nice. So she's coming some t some point today which means I have to hoover. Um, I sort of hoovered yesterday, but it wasn't a proper hoover. I mean, when you've got people coming, you have to proper hoover, do you not? And obviously it's the weekend, so made the day off and all that. Anyway, um, I'm quite excited that it's going. I'm going to, it's going to free up some space. So really just looking forward to moving with not as much furniture to worry about. So I'm going to try and, you know, free myself as, of as much of the antiques that are more shabby chic than um, investment. Do you see what I mean? Couches worth £150 aren't really what I'm aiming at for the next place. But also, I want the next place to be really sci-fi. So I'm going to have my white piano, and then the artwork's going to be really ultra, ultra modern and ultra chic. Um, so, in fact, the work that I'm doing now, the artwork for my Saatchi exhibitions, are really they've got it, they're sort of done with my new home in my mind do you know what I mean so then they say this don't they they say you know when you when you're creating an artwork or a book or whatever have an idea about who your audience is so um I'm doing this wonderful ilust illustration at the moment in black and white and I'm really into monochrome so I imagine that I'll have quite a lot of monochrome art with just these odd splashes of colour. I mean, it would be quite nice, would it not, to have a sort of black room with monochrome artworks on the walls and then something like a yellow piano. I think that would be really cool. Oh, I'm so tempted now. I mean, do you know what? If you just need more pianos, you could have, you could have one that looked as it should look. Um, and then you could have one of different colours in, in each room. But I suppose you'd be bored of that after a bit. Um, but keep the white piano. But splashes of colour in what? A couch, maybe, or, um, you know, something like that. I mean, I'm, I doubt anybody will want to buy my half-upcycled cuddle chair. So I'll probably start colouring that soon. And that can come with me as well. So it'll just be these, you know kind of white background I mean you know the graffiti chair is going to have a white background with imaging on top of it so there'll be a lot of background white I imagine um so yeah charcoal drawings really into charcoal drawings really into pen and ink and I've discovered a new thing and it's called scratch board and because I'm so adept at cross hatching and pen work and the, the piece I'm doing at the moment is is done with a it's a digital technical pen I mean I really like that um, and I always have I've done portraits with tiny nibbed pens I've done a lot of illustrations with cross hatching so this idea of um, scratching you buy these boards and they've got a layer of clay on them and you can buy white clay or black inked clay so if you buy the black inked clay it's already done for you and then you just scratch and all the scratches are white. And it's wonderful for fur, absolutely wonderful for pet portraits. Um, I'm really, really keen to start, so I'm going to treat myself to a couple of those today, see how I get on. Um, and I'll pop the shows up over on, on the TV channels as well. Um, so, yeah, really excited, actually, creatively. I, I think moving house is... Um, well, look, if I wasn't moving house, I'd just redecorate here, wouldn't I? Um, but obviously, I don't particularly like living here because it's too far away from the kids. I want to be near the kids. Um, so, yeah, just uh, just got all that to sort out. And it's a very, very big project, moving house. And I, I'm envisaging eight or nine months of preparation. I've got somebody coming around to talk, to give me a quote about the whole house removal and the removal of the piano. Um, so, you know, I mean, I want to move to a ground floor, but I may end up on a middle floor in London. I've no idea. But it's imperative to have parking, so that's one thing. 
Um, so all that today, very exciting. And what else is going on? My teeth. Do you know what? I, I put the moulds in yesterday from 6pm till midnight. and But after about three hours, they get really uncomfortable. And I'm guessing that's when I woke up when I did them the night before. Um, and today, that what it is, the sensitivity feels... It feels weird and it it's I'm actually feeling the sensitivity when I eat. So when I chew, so it's underneath, uh, you know, the the bottom of the tooth where the, where you're chomping. Um, but when you breathe, when you when you sort of go, oh, that's nippy. So it's the sort of cold air on your teeth. Pain, pain. Yeah, really odd. Um, but I've got special things from my dentist. So I might go and use one in a minute. And I've also got special toothpaste. So that's, you know, that's hopefully going to stop that. But my teeth are so beautiful. You just want to walk around smiling with your big mouth, you know, with your big teeth, your big white teeth. <laughs> I mean, they do look bigger, whiter. And I guess it's the contrast, isn't it? Yeah, it must be the contrast. So um, it's sort of drawing out my mouth, making my mouth look more obvious. Or it may be that I'm just, that's all I can see. They do say that really bright white teeth are very distracting when you take photographs of them because your eye is always taken to the shiniest part of the image. So, um, yeah, maybe that I'm just looking at that when I see myself in the mirror. Who knows? Anyway, I've got a plug for a program, uh, a series that I'm watching on Prime I like Prime. It's it's one of the cheaper ones. It's only about seven ninety nine a month or something. I think, actually, you can get a business Prime for about forty pounds a year, and I assume that includes the TV. So I might have a look at doing that, um, because at the moment I'm piggybacking mums. Um, so I'll, I'll see. Because what hap The thing is, another reason why I want to move is because my post is very unreliable here. The postman can never find the penthouse, ever. And things get left places. So as a consequence, I've been having all my posts delivered to mums. Um, I mean, Amazon, you know, their, their deliveries are, you know, regular enough, but they deliver up till 9pm. Now, if somebody leaves your item in an unsafe place at 9 p.m. and you 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 know you don't go down there till the next morning or whatever what are the chances of someone stealing it pretty high especially the stuff i get online so i always get things delivered to mum but when i move i want things you know to be able to be delivered to my my home and have some sort of you know service hatch or something something just a, a little bit more reliable than than the you know delivery men getting lost trying to find me so that I found that really irritating um so of course I'm digressing because I'm trying to talk about prime so mad men mad men it's so good it's an american series and it's about an ad agency and it's set in the 60s and it really i mean i was born in 1962 guys right and Right up until I more until recently, I didn't realise what I was so angry about, and I was angry about the sexism, but I didn't understand what sexism was. I just knew I didn't like it, and I knew it wasn't fair. And you really see the sexism in this, in this series. I mean, it's it's done brilliantly well. The acting's just fantastic, but the attention to detail is just awesome, and it's. I mean, it's, you know, all the clothing. I mean, big up to the to the costume designer. Um, now, they're, they're, they're high-end, sort of uh, middle-class, um, maybe middle-middle-class, upper-middle-class? No, middle-middle-class. I mean, they're, all, they're working, they're, work, they're ad men. But the wives don't tend to work, but, the, but you see them through the male lens. And it's really, really bloody interesting, honestly. And you hope to God we've come far. I mean, actually, we haven't because we're still judged on our skin, our clothes, our beauty and um, what we do with our vaginas, you know. We're still completely and utterly judged by that. But it is easier to rebel, I think, now and to find a tribe that accepts your rebellion. I think that's a bit easier. 
except for, you know, the the outcast of society, which some days I feel like I am one. But I still rebel, you know. You, you. I mean, they don't bang you up in loony bins anymore <laughs> if you're a witch. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, they, they can call you all the words they like, but generally speaking, you're going to be OK um, as long as you're not breaking the law, I guess. Um, so, I mean, let, don't get me onto protest art. Don't go there. Don't go there. Um, so, yeah, lovely week ahead. But I'm going to... Do you know what? I think I'm going to have the rest of the day off, guys. I think I'm going to do some hoovering against my better will and uh, get rid of the couch. But if if I um, if I see a house that I really like, I'm going to go house shopping and see if I can, you know, find anything that really... I mean, the thing is, I want this next house to be utterly breathtaking. I want it to be the place... I mean, I'd like a forever home, you know? I really would like that. And I, it, it has to fit, you know, it has to be an hour drive from all my children and my mum. And it, ideally, it needs, you know, to be close to public transport for London. So I want an hour to London. I want to be an hour from my club in London by public transport or car. Now, it turns out that if you drive into London, it adds... You know, it's quick. It's just quicker to do it by tube. So, funnily enough, a place I was looking at yesterday in Guildford, Surrey, was um, quicker to go by trans um, public transport than by car. And obviously, you know, getting your car into into central London, there's all these charges and what have you. Um, and but that really appealed to me. And also, I can take my bike places. You know, get your bike on a train. I really want to get into that. Now, the reason I haven't been doing that living here is because I have to get a ferry. And you have to pay, and it's expensive, so you pay for the ferry. And, you, and this palaver, so there's a cycle, a ferry. I mean, it's literally like a triathlon if you want to take your bike somewhere, if I wanted to go into Brighton with my bicycle. Um, so, I'm, you know, I'm trying to cut down all these different things. I don't want a ferry anymore. I want, you know, maybe two two changes or one change and from central Guildford and and areas around um, Crawley you know it's one train and one tube in fact you know you can walk from Waterloo to Soho House it's a nice walk on a nice day it's a lovely walk actually so you can walk that um, which which you know and I love walking through London especially you know the hub of the, the centre of London where you've got, you know, you walk across a bridge, Waterloo Bridge. I mean, I just find that really inspirational. I do, I do. Um, although, you know, I've written a lot of music about the sins of the city because you get corrupted. But uh, I'm, you know, as a woman of a certain amount of years, you're no longer corruptible and you've done all the corrupting that you want. So, so I don't think that applies anymore. Anyway... I'm off and have a lovely day. It's a lovely Sunday. It's, the sun's shining through, but it's bloody cold. I've got the electric blanket on and I've got my second coffee, so I suppose I'd better drink that. And I'll be back later. If not, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>